up, YouTube? I hold shift here, and all you Call of Duty fans that may not know me or the channel, welcome. It's good to have you. My hold shift, I'm commentator, looking to get into the scene, and of course, I've kept my eye on Call of Duty in the past, but not nearly as much as well, this Black Ops 4 has really proven to show as far as its capabilities. So, what are you going to expect from this kind of a show? This will be a CWL recap show where we kind of go over the most recent, especially 2Ks, but also some of the more open and, of course, invitational events. I'm going to break it down to see what's going on and give you just an overarching idea of who's on the top and who still needs to show up. So, if you're new here, welcome. It's good to have you. A little bit more about this. Uh, this week in specific, since we did just have our first ever CWL 2K in all of, all the regions combined, North America, EU, and APAC, of course, most notably. I will be covering EU and APAC briefly, but of course, as the Call of Duty scene is mostly focused and centered around the North American scene, we're going to be spending most of our time there. And I wanted to get something out in a timely fashion without there being a lack of quality. So there will be some more additions to the show as far as where do the overall standings go. Right now, you don't have to worry about that because there's only been one 2k so far and again this show like i mentioned it will be the only focused on north america for now we'll add eu to the mix probably next week when we have our second cwl 2k we'll talk more about that when we get there let's not get too far ahead of ourselves let's talk about what you came here to know that was what happened this last weekend with that first cwl 2k a lot of eyes were on it not only because it was the first in black ops 4 but well, if you didn't catch it, I don't know where you were that night. Scump hit over 100,000 viewers while streaming the finals. Uh, spoiler alert, who made it into the finals. Oh, come on! And if you did miss it, well, I won't spoil who won the match or who they played up against. If you don't know who Scump is, I don't even know why you're watching this video. So let's take a look at the 16 teams to place, obviously, in the top 16. Starting at the very bottom, a couple names will pop up here as you might kind of raise an eyebrow. As you see them pop up on screen, of course, you will see the red, gold, and blue of FaZe Clan and Luminosity. The number two and number three seeds coming into this bracket, not quite making it out and into that last bit of that playoff situation. Wouldn't even make it into the quarterfinals. Feels a little awkward, man, to be completely honest, uh, as they weren't able to get all the way through the quarters. And uh, working their way in, trying to get in just beyond that, our top eight teams. You'll see Splice and G2 will actually make a couple of moves for themselves. G2, to be fair, had a little bit easier of a bracket than some of the other teams that we just previously mentioned. But regardless, they made themselves worthy and will find themselves in the top eight. And then, of course, where you want to find out who are the top four going in. E United, 100 Thieves, they would make it to semis and not quite be able to irk out their opponents. And as you take a look up top, it is Orgless facing up against Optic Gaming in the finals. And it would be Optic Gaming taking it. Pretty impressive night, to be completely honest, if you tuned in for that. Essentially what was semifinals on, or I think it was quarterfinals on. But I, I got it mixed up between EU and NA because they had different schedules. You might be looking at this list and going, hey, Shift, you may have left off a couple of names. Uh, well, I got bad news for you. I didn't leave them off. Here they are. Team Envy and Evil Geniuses would tie for the 17th through 32nd spot after a loss to Gold Bullets for Team Envy and a loss to React Gaming, both in round six for Evil Geniuses. Very disappointing showings as neither of those teams that had defeated Envy or Evil Geniuses would go on past round seven, the one right afterwards. So, yikesers. Not exactly the greatest showing for Envy or Evil Geniuses needing to recollect themselves and come back stronger next week. But I want to take a little bit of a closer look at Optic Gaming because that is the squad, that obviously, that won. But beyond that, it was the man who was the, of, well, a couple of hours as Scump. Again, he had a, a huge stream for himself, and it's really invigorating to see the Call of Duty scene giving so much support. It wasn't just enough to win the tournament, though, for Optic. They would win every single set and not lose a single map throughout the entire tournament. A full 33-0 in maps. They secured themselves at 2,000 points, going 9-0. There's a little bit of look at the roster and what roles they were mostly playing, as you would anticipate. And as we go on, a lot of people were kind of wondering about this no 5v5 roster from 4v4s. What happens to some of these extra players that are really solid but didn't get picked up by orgs? Well, that's more notably the case with a group like Orgless, who was ran mostly by Spacely. That's the name that a lot of people are affiliating with the group. And there have been some developments about this team since we last saw them play. But take a look over at it. Obviously, they're searching for an organization. It's definitely going to help as they absolutely smoked 100 Thieves and Splice in the same tournament and essentially back-to-back. -to -back. 
So that's really impressive to see. That roster is made up with Havoc as well as Spacely, Maniac, Naga as well as Malk. So very, very good showing from these guys. A lot of question marks were kind of coming up to who will take down the big orcs. Well, make a name for yourself by finishing second. They wouldn't be able to find much success, obviously, against Optic. They had a couple of close toggles on control, but for the most part, Search and Destroy and Hardpoint really went the way of Optic. Now, how about one of the teams that made it near the top, but didn't quite irk out and make it into the finals? Talking about Splice, and well, they had two different teams. Obviously, the big shakeup during the offseason was the fact that the Splice Halo team was going to be trying to participate in both Halo and Call of Duty. The Splice Black was the name that they were going under, and uh, well, they didn't do so well as they barely got out of the gate, not even making it past, I don't think, the third round. But the more familiar Call of Duty Splice team performed up to standard, but did fall to that Orglist team that we just showed. Same roster that you would anticipate, Accuracy, Aqua, Looney, Temp, and Jurd, all back, and they find themselves 6 and 1 with 600 points they were the number four seed coming in so not quite at where they wanted to be obviously with the seeding but not a terrible showing by any stretch of the imagination how about just outside the top eight this is again pick your poison luminosity or phase a lot of eyes were on phase clan as they were coming into this call of duty a lot of people had anticipated that they were going to find themselves a little bit of a boost but they had uh, well most of those eyes that we had on them would have to be averted as they dropped to fastball his team and crew in round number seven rather convincingly from what i've been told i wasn't able to catch any of that game but from what i've gathered from uh, some of the other streams that people were talking about it seemed like phase uh, did not really come to show up against fastball his team and uh, that roster of course attached zuma methods priest as well as replays and you know this the dudes they're back they're coming in hot and uh fastball and crew you know it's important to note uh, as as you take a look at it Fastball is team, you know, important to note that they went as hashtag McBusy. They would finish uh, in the top eight, made with Ruiz, Believe, uh, Profeezy, and, and Beezy as well. Uh, they played really, really well throughout. I, I thought they looked really, really good. They didn't really have a chance as they would lose to EU in the quarterfinal matchup, but it, it was a good game, all things considered. And uh, I'm really excited to see, again, who picks up these teams because it looks like, for the most part, these teams that don't have orgs in the top eight are looking like they're going to not move anywhere. Like, these players are here to stay. So I'm really excited to see it. Uh, that's a little bit of a recap. We're going to be having a full leaderboard after we go through next week. Again, next week is the next CWL 2K, starting on the 11th, as Game Battles has it promoted. So if you're interested in, of course, getting the guys together or girls and playing, the link for that is down below. And uh, I've been Shift. It's been good to have you. If you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that like button and react with, you know, down below. Give me a comment. What do you think? Do you like the show? Do you not like the show? How about the games? Goodness gracious. How about all that drama between Optic and E United? Don't know what I'm talking about? Well, <laughs> it's already begun, family. It's going to be another spicy year. Optic, Scump, going up against Clayster. They had a little bit of an argument over their matchup in the semifinals where one of the players from E United had lagged out and was running into a wall in a, in a hard point game that was 230 to 230 plus to 230 plus. A lot of disagreement it ended up going on for about 45 minutes so keep your eyes on that drama as that will probably spin close to out of control just before we get to vegas and maybe we'll even see a rematch coming up on the 11th if both teams make it again that's going to be the next place you can find them of course you can find all of the streams mostly based off player perspectives so if you're looking for those feel free to hit a comment below and i'll try to get you a stream link if possible i've been shift that's what's up for the cwl recap we'll catch you guys next week for another go at it including eu so thanks so much for tuning in we'll catch you guys next time Bye bye